With coal mines and utility plants, the Wabash Valley is certainly no stranger to generating electricity. The Navy, though, is now looking at a proposal to bring back hydroelectric generation to the Wabash Valley. News 10's Mike Grant reports a three-year study has found a potential power source just outside the boundaries of the Crane Naval Warfare Center. For almost a century, water on the East Fork of the White Rivers poured over the dam at Williams. For the last three years, engineers have been looking at the potential for generating electricity here and concluded it will work. The water flows over that dam every day. That's potential electricity. It's clean, renewable, and the idea was that we could re reactivate that dam, provide energy directly to the base. The idea would be to ship the power from here to the Crane Naval Warfare Center just two miles away. We've taken a look at that. Uh, it's still under evaluation, uh, but it is something we'd like to, to look at because it's very close to the base um, and uh, it, it is a potential. But there once was an electric generating station here, but the powerhouse was gutted a long time ago. But officials with URS say there's new technology on the market that could make this a very viable project. This isn't ne necessarily next generation, but it's there. It meets the clean. It reduces carbon uh, dioxide emissions, and that's something we should be really focused on. Something else to focus on is that by harnessing the power of the water here and converting it into electricity, this fairly small operation holds the potential to produce 20% of the electricity needed to keep Indiana's largest military base running. In Williams, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The hydroelectric proposal at Williams Dam comes just as the Navy is attempting to cut down on the amount of energy it purchases at domestic bases by 50%.